So let's talk about Kamen Rider Aguilera for a second. I think the way she delivered that, the story leading up to it, how she was like, hey, I want to atone for my sins, how she went to the weekend and asked for it. All of that stuff was picture perfect. Like Revice killing it story-wise, honestly. Like I've loved Aguilera's progression throughout this whole thing from the beginning to now i think that her story is so well told she was like a child indoctrinated into this cult that was like potentially supposed to be the queen of this cult the queen of evil like she said in this episode and then she just gets the rug pulled out from under her that's like actually you're a sacrifice and then like she still tries she still tries to be that queen because it's the only thing she's ever known and just constantly gets berated and put down and shown that like, hey, what you thought was going to happen isn't going to happen. Finally, find someone else to turn that love to. Like, because whether we want to say it or not, like she found uh, Sakura to turn that love to. And Sakura was her one out out of this life that she had. Now she gets it. And now it's her turn to to atone for these sins that she she did, like she said in there. And all that was perfect. I thought she delivered it well. Like, it was such a cool lead up to it. And then we got the Aguilera suit. And I will say, a couple of days ago, we saw leaks of the suit, and I hated it. The suit flat looked terrible. It looks, let's say, seven times better in motion. I will give it that. It looks great rolling around and everything. Um, I think it looks really good. I, I Let me tell you some things that I don't like and don't be too hard on this. But uh, like Charmander guy says right there in the chat, I would have loved for it to be black and yellow because she is the queen bee. Um, the, the suit looks like it came from Phoenix. And it's so weird. It looks like the suit belongs to Phoenix when it belongs to weekend. In fact, the driver is the weekend driver, which I absolutely hate the little weekend symbol on the front of it. Why? It looks dumb as hell. It looks dumb as hell to put the weekend symbol right there. The driver itself looks really cool. It's a great recolor. The front flap uh, um, and the honeycombs on the side, I think are a nice touch and like a little too on the nose that like, Hey, this is for Aguilera and not for, not for Tamaki. This is for Hana and not for Tamaki. Um, I love that she was like, hey, Hana found her place and I guess Aguilera needs to as well. I think that was perfect. Loved that whole thing. It's just the, the suit is so weird and out of place, which seems to be the theme of a lot of this series of Revice of like, man, the story leading into the suit, banging. The reason why we're getting the suit, banging. The suit, not great. And like, yeah, Thunder, Thunder Gale has grown on me and everything, but like the debut made Thunder Gale cool. Not just looking at Thunder Gale made it cool. It was, it was the debut and the whole story they told. Jack Revise is cool because like a all black suit, a berserker form is always going to be cool. Don't get me wrong. But this seems to be the running theme of, of Revise. Over Demons is a cool idea. The suit is garbage. <laughs> Aguilera is a good idea. The suit is not up to par. Um, there is another version of the suit that's like black and white, I believe, for their side special that's coming out. Um, and that looked fine. It looked a little better. I just I just can't understand what the thought process behind this suit was. Uh, first impressions of first tension are very important. Agreed. And that's why, like I said, Thunder Grail, I hated Thunder Grail when I saw it. And it, like now I'm like, Thunder Grail is dope. It totally grew on me. Alternatively, when they have an amazing suit like Holy Live, the story buildup to it is extremely mid. A great point as well. Holy Live is a great looking suit. You all know how much I didn't like Live, how much I loved Evil, um, just because the, the dichotomy of them didn't match what it was supposed to be story-wise. And then you get Holy Live, and it's like, hey, one episode, build up, done. I'm hoping they do more with it. I just don't have faith that they'll do more with it. I think Daiji's on like his last legs of story. Or maybe he's just starting. Maybe we do get Kagero next week. Who knows? 